tell you some story One day I met Pokwame He talked me, say he didn't feel my vibe So he got and he go date me Now who go fit to resist Such a fine boy like this I take and walk out my number one Like Ronaldo and Messi I listen to a wide variety of music and I learn, like I listen to people like Asha, there's this Togolese musician called Jimmy Hope, he's not that popular but I really take inspiration from him. I listen to people like, like The Passenger, Sharon and Co, because they are writing skills, I learn a lot from them, so when I learn, I'm like wow, like we have writers and we have writers, so I just take some lessons from them and so vocally I take lessons from these people and lyrically too lyrically too and my daily life is also um, an inspiration every day from since my childhood to now every everything that has happened to me is like an inspiration to my music that is what helps me write my music yeah first of all my name is Celestine Agropa a singer songwriter and a recording artist based here in Ghana Mm, okay, you can call me Coffee Courts. That is my stage name. Um, I started this music thing back in 2016, and this is how far I have come. I grew up with my big brothers, and they are music heads. So I grew up listening to Nas, Jay Z, Bow Wow, the kind of old 90s hip hop, like Rakim and Co. So I grew up, at least I knew about good music. I just didn't take it professional. I didn't know I'd be doing it professionally, but I knew like there was something called good music. So I grew up, my daddy was in the choir, my mommy too, and I later joined the Sunday school. And in the university, I took up the challenge of learning the keyboard. So I think like every, I grew up in music, that's it. Yeah. The music that I create can be described as relatable. It's, an, it's the kind of music that you listen to and you'd be like, oh, I, I feel this lady is talking to me. I feel Kafui is talking to me. Yeah. It depends on the concept of the song. If the song calls for a feature, why not? Because, okay, there are some songs that I feel, now. Nah, I won't be on this alone. I don't, I just feel I'm... Me being on it alone will, is, is perfect for me. But there are some songs that I'm like, oh, this, this will require this person, this will require this person to make it a 100% song. So it depends on the concept, it depends on the vibe of the song and all that. If I feel this song needs collaboration or it needs even maybe some writing skills from someone else. But if I feel this song there, I'm so, I can really, I can relate to it so much that I feel I can put, I can do everything to uh, myself. Yeah, I do it by myself. I have close to 25 songs now released, but for all release and all the adverts, everything, it's almost 200. Yeah. Not all written by me. I have people who just come, Charlie, I get the song, I want you. I, I feel you'll be the best person to sing this, so they just give it to me. I have, I have some, some that maybe we collaborate and all that, yeah. So it's not all songs that are written by me, but majority have been written by me the online distribution thing. You see, at first, it used to be very hard for you. Even, it was hard for people to distribute the things themselves. But like, now that the, we, we have the distro kids, we have the Dito Music, we have the um, Amuse and other stuff. Yeah, now you can do your own thing without having to go and go through any long process and all that. Now you can just distribute your own thing, pay something and just, yeah, you're good to go. And also, we have YouTube, YouTube has been there for a long time, but now, now that like there are smartphones and all that, now you can just take your phone and you, know, you go and train your voice, you just go open up, you just go and search maybe vocal lessons, you train your voice, you listen to maybe other advice from, advices from other musicians, like, so I think that it's, it's really helped me, yeah, musically, all these. I don't, I don't hate anything about music, it's just, this is just something minute, um, it's, um, Sometimes you have to force yourself into a certain mood. Let's say today I'm, I'm up and I'm not in the mood, I'm not happy. Then I get called, Charlie, we get some, maybe come and maybe you have to say, maybe, or maybe my, my party B wants to feature you. And maybe you go and the song, it's not even a sad song. It's something that you have to, it's a happy song, an energetic song. And you have to try and switch. Like sometimes it's not easy switching from your natural mood to a mood that you have to pretend. Yeah, so...
The weirdest thing um, was um, one day I went to, I had planned to record a song. So um, I rehearsed at home. I did what I had to do. I was confident about it. Then I went to the studio to record. But no matter how many takes I took, the number of takes I took weren't working. Like that day was just not, it wasn't my recording day. No matter how hard I tried, it wasn't, it was just not my recording day. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I normally get this question. Um, I'll say, I'll say not, not full time and not part time. I'm more than part time, but I'm almost a full time. I'll put it that way. <laughs> if I'm not. <laughs> I went to sing, I went to open a show, and when I saw the crowd, me and Shimmy, and I didn't really sing like how I wanted to sing. I, I have that thing with me, and I'm working on it. Uh, many times I'm going to see, sometimes when I see um, the crowd, I get this fear and all that. And the way maybe I'll do that at home or when I'm alone isn't how I do it when I meet people. And yeah, but it's something I'm working towards, so. And so that they really got to me, it affected me for almost a week. Yeah. Okay. Um, the best advice I've been given is. Okay, I spoke about um I went me being on stage one time and that was my embarrassing moment. Like I didn't like how I performed. Yeah. So one one um I don't mention his name, but he's one of our best high life artists, like musicians, yeah. Um, he spoke to me and he told me it's happened to, like it's happened to him severally, especially when he was starting. When he was starting, uh, this thing like it used to happen to him, and for, even it, ha it even happened to him that he had to just pause this music thing for a year because it got to him. So he told me it's normal, and as when I start, um, I should just look at it as if I'm. I'm just in my room. When I'm on stage, I should just act as if I'm in my room, and I shouldn't just look, I shouldn't look at anyone. I should just act like I'm singing to myself and I'll pick up from there. So, and I took that advice and since then it's been helping me. An advice I would give to someone who'd like to follow my footsteps is to be patient, be resilient. It's to, yeah, it's to keep on moving no matter what comes his or her way. Yeah, that's just all I can tell the person. I have a show coming up in December. We are still working towards it. Um, I have songs coming up. I have songs featuring One Love, songs featuring... I don't mention the names yet, but they are surprises. They should expect more from me. There's so things that go on for my head I'm tired of this world oh. As you see me sit There's so things that happen for my come more My heart oh. You see me sit There's so things that go on for my head I'm tired, I'm tired of this world oh. You see me sit here yeah, so things they happen for my come and Say da La ji da fo ji do do bona Vita la van no we go beta Make you no worry There's no be to me Life go be smooth So things they go on for my head My tire this world You see me say to so things they happen for my come and more My heart 
slow You see me sitting so Things that go on from my head Mantaya, mantaya, that's what I I should have seen me sitting here so Things that happen from my common mood She the same message, yeah, so things they happen for my cool.